What is up guys? Welcome back to the studio. I'm John the Potter. So great to have you. Today is the day that our book is actually released. So October 27th. So this video is gonna go live in the future because today we're gonna try and replicate the cover photo. So this mug I made like two years ago. It sold on Etsy and it belongs to a lady in Washington. So congratulations on having this mug. Uh, but I want to try and recreate it. So I haven't this I used glazes from Continental clay and Minnesota clay a long time ago And now I use pretty much all Mako stuff But I still have those other glazes and I wanted to kind of go through and try and replicate this So I'm gonna throw like ten mugs that are this shape I'm gonna it has the little um, thumb pad on the mug there I'm gonna put that there and then it has these little carving spots in there. So I'm gonna carve uh, and I have no idea if it's gonna work or not or if I've totally lost the ability to make this mug But I think it would be kind of fun. That's all. Let's get into Making quick before we get started on this project I want to let you guys know that for the first time we're doing a zoom Workshop on how to make commercial glazes your own so we're teaming up with the potters class this Saturday November 21st It's at 1130 central time and we'll be talking about how I go about glazing my pieces. So how I get results like this, like this, with commercial glazes that anybody can buy and how to actually make it unique to you. So we're gonna do everything from glazing principles to uh, basics to different glazing techniques and problems and issues and solutions. And then how to really like make commercial glazes something that's unique and that will stand out for you as an artist. So we'd love if you join us, if you can't make us, the live version it will be available to, for purchase afterwards as well so check out the link in the description below uh to check it out it's gonna be fun never done that before but it'll be sweet all right let's do this project Got our messy wheel. Sorry about this whole thing happening here. We're gonna put a bat on, get the bat a little wet, get any old clay off, and we're gonna get throwing. This is probably my favorite part of pottery right here. Boom! Boom! I mean this whole throwing part. I'm gonna cone up and down a little bit. That just helps to get the clay all homogenized. All right, now I'm gonna do a couple pulls. Pretty much just straight up. And then I'm gonna leave this a little bit thicker than I normally would do because I am carving out a little bit. So I wanna make sure that I'm not, because if you throw really, really thin and then you carve, then you can carve through pretty easily. So that is pro, I don't probably want to go much more than that. Maybe I'll just do one little, one little tiny more pull. Just make sure it's even. Then I'm gonna use a rib. get any excess water out of there. And then normally what I do is I use that tool to make a little foot on there, that metal tool. But that is not what I did for this, this mug, this practical pottery mug back here. This, I'm gonna use this little wood tool just to create a shape around that bottom, like that. And then I'll go back and trim it so it's nice looking, but it's a pretty basic shape. I'll probably try and make it a little taller, a little skinnier for the future ones, but for the first ones, it's good. All right, we got 10 balls, we're gonna throw 10. We got 10 thrown, they're just gonna hopefully look like this. 
So now we let them sit probably four or five hours. We'll cut them off, flip them over, and then we'll let them dry more, and then we'll trim them, and then we'll come back and carve them. So we'll, oh, we gotta put the handle on in there too, so. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, friends, we are back after, it's been, I don't know, four hours. We went to Moke Monkey and we're cleaning out the basement, which used to be the old studio, which is like, I should've done that like a year ago. But anyway, so these pots are now, they are ready to be flipped over. And so what I do is I run the wire right underneath and then it flips over easy, doesn't change shape at all. And that is that. Flip. And then what this does is this is gonna allow it to dry more evenly. So right now the top like third is pretty dry. I can feel it. And we want this part to dry so that it matches this. So flipping it over will help this part to dry and this part to not get too much drier. So yeah, now we just gotta flip all these over. All right, so we got all of our mugs carved. There's our pile of carvings. And so now we gotta put handles on, which I use my extruder to make handles. So I have some videos about that, but I had some extra clay left. So I already extruded all the handles. So they are ready to go. So now we're gonna put handles on and then we just gotta let them dry. And then, all right, let's do it. We got the handles on, we got them trimmed, we got them carved, everything's all good. And the last thing that's on here, if you notice on the Practical Pottery book, so on the cover photo, there's this little thumb print in here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put that on, or how I do it anyway, because it's a nice little thing to get on there that's like a nice little thumb holder. So basically you just take a little ball of clay, press your thumb into it, and then attach it to the top. friends so we got them all done with the pad the thumb pad on there so handles carve trim thumb pad thing now we're gonna take these on this wear board into the kiln room where these will dry probably take 
three or four days to dry and then they'll get loaded in the bisque kiln. All right guys, so it's a few days later and this is our bisque kiln that we are unloading. So we have, oh, this isn't one of them, but all those mugs that we did now have been bisqued, which means that they go up to, uh, it's like kiln 04, so 19, so they go up to 1,945 degrees. So normally when you fire up to a glaze higher, like the clay melts together and gets non-porous, so it won't absorb any water. But at this point, it will absorb a little bit of water, but it's way more durable than it was. Like if, if you would have taken this before and like squeezed it, it just would have crumbled. But now it's pretty durable. We can apply glaze to it. And the thing about this project is we're not 100% sure what the glaze was that we used like four years ago when we made that other mug. So I think I know, I think it's my black and then floating blue all, like along the whole thing. And then we wipe off the floating blue that we just want to stick inside of the little marks and then buttercream on top. So we're gonna try, I made like 10 of them, like a, a bunch of them. And I think we'll just try two in this kiln. We'll see, we'll see how ambitious we get, but um, hopefully it works. I'm glazing pots. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you think? Good. How's it look? Good. Good. Yeah? Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Good. Huh? <laughs> now we got the two layers of glaze on the top, right? And now I'm just taking a sponge and I wiped off as much as I could, but then once it's dry, then you can really go after it a little bit better. So I'm, I'm just taking a sponge, wiping it, but you can see that it leaves some of the glaze inside of those carve marks, and that's what we want. We'll still put one more layer of glaze on the top, so hopefully we get some dripping down. And I made sure that this is really dry, that's super important all the time. We got our, I mean, that's for what I think is gonna come out, but I'm not actually sure because I haven't done this place in a very, very long time. So we got a four right there. We're just gonna finish loading the kiln. Then we'll shut it, start it. We're gonna fire it to cone six. Uh, and then it should be done in a couple days and I'll unload it and let you guys see them. All right, see you guys in a couple days. All right guys, so it is a couple days later and this kiln is now done. So we are going to unload it and I'll just show you a couple things. This is a brand new thing that I've been trying. This was fired for a second time upside down. Look at that in there. Anyway, this isn't why you came to this video, but that is cool. Boom, all righty, look at that. Pretty close. Pretty, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Let me go, let me go get the, that's what we were trying to replicate. What do you think? What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. There's a few of them in here. I think I got it about right. It got, it's gotten a little more drippy, which that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. Cool. I'm happy. So there's four of those. 
I, I'll put those up on our next restock, which will be uh, Black Friday sale. So that'll be November 27th at noon. We're gonna do one a little different time. So there will be four of those, as well as everything else in this kiln. Wow, that's pretty sweet. It turned out pretty awesome. There's four of those in there. There's some, some Northern Lights. Always try and do a bunch of those. So these will all be available then. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm happy that we were able to replicate the cover photo. This is now available on Amazon. Link in the description below if you wanna go check it out. Otherwise, we got two more sales until the holidays, November 27th and December 14th. So we can make sure we get you pots before Christmas. And then we're gonna take a break. And then we're gonna probably not make another pot for a few weeks, which will be fun. All right. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, share, comment, all the things. Stay tuned for this video if you wanna see. I'm just gonna pull everything else out of here and I'll leave the camera running. So, see you guys in the next video.